Um, we have another one of these situations where Fox News gets its black women confused. You, you just, you know, I don't even know what the analysis is other than once again, they just got their black ladies confused. Here is Laura Ingram putting up a picture of Letitia James while talking about Fonnie Willis, different black woman, Laura. So history is going to remember Jack Smith and Alvin Bragg, Fonnie Willis and the judges who let these cases get as far as they did. Yeah, that is not Fonnie Willis. It is a black woman, but that is not Fonnie Willis. Later in her show, Laura Ingram apologized about that. And the apology is pretty rich. Take a listen. So history is going to remember Jack Smith and Alvin Bragg, Fonnie Willis and the judges who let these cases get as far as they did. All right, earlier in the angle, we accidentally showed a graphic that had a photo of another vicious anti-Trump figure, Letitia James, when we were talking about Fonnie Willis. So that was our mistake. But yeah. they both they both hate Trump. All right. Coming. There you go. You know, um, Laura says we got the wrong Trump hater on the screen. Is that the only thing that Letitia James and Fonnie Willis have in common, Laura? Oops, we lied about the wrong person, but they happen to both be black women. It is the epitome of stereotyped views on race. And there is a lot of it floating around with these MAGA people. Just yesterday, we talked about how Trump doesn't really nominate too many black people to his cabinet. And back in his first term, he nominated Ben Carson, a black doctor, to be secretary of housing and urban development. And we said, what on earth does Ben Carson know about that? Maybe Trump thinks because the word urban is in the title, he should pick a black guy. Eh, could that be it? I don't know. Well, now Trump has again nominated uh, a black guy so far, the lone black guy to his cabinet, Scott Turner, to lead housing and urban development. It really seems like Trump hears urban development and assumes that means I need a black guy for that. Fox News gets its black women confused. You know, they always say, no, it's you guys are so simplistically minded when you call this stuff out. It's so wrong. It doesn't seem like there's a more nuanced explanation. They seem to just get confused about the appearance of black women. They seem to hear urban and think I've got to hire a black guy. I wish there were a more detail oriented and nuanced analysis of what's going on, but it just keeps happening the same damn way time and time and time again. If there's a different explanation, I want to hear it. Email me info at davidpackman.com. Well, I wrote a book after a long journey and a ton of work. I am really thrilled with how it turned out, and I hope you'll read it. The book is called The Echo Machine. And in a nutshell, it looks at how American politics got so broken, who has already figured out solutions and how we can try to fix it and stop the terror of Trump for the next four years. With Trump winning this election, the echo machine couldn't be more relevant, not only a warning about how we got here, but also about what might be coming and how to prevent the worst outcomes. We've got to stay engaged. We need a plan. And that's what the book is about. There's a belief out there that unless you have corporate media behind you, you can't have a successful political book launch, that it's not possible. I think we can prove that wrong. Order the echo machine today at davidpackmancom slash echo on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Audible, Kindle, anywhere that books, ebooks and audio books are sold. You can also call any local bookstore and say, please order me the echo machine by David Pakman. Wherever you get the book, you'll get the free pre-order perks, including the signed book plate. Head to davidpackman.com slash free book stuff after ordering.